doubt after those experiences before, they are nervous yeah. in Puerto Rico yeah. right Fortunately, now. Fortunately, this one is its going to be marginally a hurricane as it passes off the southwest uh, of the island. So not a good thing, but yeah. uh, certainly not as bad as it could be. And nothing like Maria that caused all that damage there several years ago. Around here, well, if, can I say it was a hot afternoon for some places. If you were near the sound, it wasn't too bad. Temperatures near the sound actually stayed around the uh, upper 70s and low 80s, but got just a little ways away from it. Uh, like even at SeaTac, they popped up to 85 degrees yesterday, about 10 degrees above the normal for this time of the year. So I was saying earlier, 92 degrees, a record high out at Hoquiam and 91 and Forks. Those were the warmest spots in the state, and then, or at least here on the west side of the Cascades. Shelton there at the south end of the Hood Canal hit 90 yesterday and 87 and Bellevue. So a hot one and we're going to add a couple degrees to that for the interior. The coast is going to be staying still in pretty good uh, shape. They're going to cool back into the 80s in most places, even a few 70s on the south coast. And those temperatures this month, not quite as warm as what we saw last year at this time, but certainly in pretty good shape. And we're looking for uh, that uh, slowly but surely we're going to be, what are we, 26 days away from the fall equinox. Looking out from Port Angeles, not seeing much in the way of any light quite yet. Certainly missed those early sunrises when we had some light when we go on the air here. And and it looks like up there in Everett also seeing a pretty quiet morning with clear skies. There is a little smoke in the air up off the ground, not down on the ground, not an air quality issue, but especially in the south sound. That sun rises this morning. It might be a little redder than usual from some smoke coming from east of the Cascades. We have that offshore flow. However, that's going to be switching around as we hit tomorrow, and it won't be an issue whatsoever. And again, not any problems with air quality down here at the surface. Out of the airport, we're looking at clear skies and another busy morning out of the airport. Checking temperatures this morning. Still a pretty mild morning around the area. Some mid to upper 50s there in southwestern Washington near the Strait, but a lot of places running in the mid 60s to start off today. Not as much cooling as we normally see. Our forecast overall for today does call for sunshine. Temperatures getting into the mid to upper 80s, some 90s out towards the Cascade foothills and probably down around uh, Shelton in that area. Again, we'll cool off the coast of the upper 70s and low to mid 80s, so they'll get a little relief. Tomorrow, a big change, partly sunny, chance of a few showers mainly in the south sound tomorrow morning, but then you might see a couple even to the north. Temperatures cooling back to the uh, mid to upper 70s. Morning clouds and sunshine Friday, mid to upper 70s, and about the same again Saturday. Looks like showers and sun breaks around on Sunday, but it looks like those should clear out as we head into Labor Day, that partly sunny day. Temperatures both days back in the mid 70s and partly sunny Tuesday and holding in the mid 70s. So, all in all, not a bad Labor Day weekend forecast. Looks pretty good. Thank you, Rich.